Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, long time no see. Um, sorry, <laughs> I, uh, I disappeared. Uh, things got a little crazy after I did my move. Um, well, COVID happened for everyone. Um, so I moved, lost my job. Um, got my job back after two months of um, wondering what the heck I was going to do. Um, and then, um, a month after being at work, I got COVID. So I had to quarantine and then test again. I was out for three weeks, so that was lovely. And then since I've been back, it's been head first, um, rule after rule, new rules, everything. I'm just trying to keep up with life at the moment. I thought today I would finally, finally get to um, my empties basket that um, I actually moved from my home to this apartment. Yes, I moved a basket of trash over so I could film this video. And I'm gonna finally film it because you know what? <laughs> I need to throw this out. Um, there's a few repeats, um, but a lot of these are my favorites and I do wanna share them with you. Um, so without further ado, let's get into um, these empties. All right, so I've only got, I've got two hair products in here, I think. Yes, I had two. Um, the first one, um, I am a dry shampoo girl. Um, I work in a restaurant, so um, my hair gets oily super fast. But if I wash my hair too much, um, it gets dry and it starts splitting. So I have to do at least one day of dry shampoo. So I uh, emptied out this Batiste. Um, I've actually emptied out another one by, um, what was it called? It's by Pantene. Um, I think I actually got these at the same time. But um, I've emptied them out. Um, Batiste is always good. I mean, it's affordable. You can find this at Five Below. And then um, my Argan uh, plus Moroccan oil spray. This gives my hair back um, its shine. Um, I like the spray kind. I got another one. It's the one that you squeeze in your hand, rub it in your hands. I prefer this one just because of less mess, but it's still good. Um, this keeps my hair looking healthy and um, shiny, especially if I have to wash my hair too much. This helps give its uh, life back to it got the Hello Hydration uh, face cream with hyaluronic acid and peptide complex. Anything with hyaluronic acid is really good for your skin. Um, any skincare person is going to tell you this. Um, I used to put this on every morning. Uh, I now have a gel that does the same thing. I do prefer the cream because um, if it's a consistency thing. If you don't like the feel of, it's like, it's like jelly but it's for your face. Um, that's what I'm using right now. I feel like it doesn't do as well as this, but it's not bad. Um, but I used to put this in the morning and the night cream at night, which I just finished out the night cream as well. So um, skincare has become very important to me. I mean, I'm in my 30s. I probably need to pay attention to um, face cream, but um, this was great and it's affordable. I mean, it's e.l.f. So you can't go wrong with it. Um, and then I've tried f different um, versions of this. This is vitamin C with hyaluronic acid. It brightens facial serum. This one is pearlescent. I got this at TJ Maxx. Um, but like I have the other one by Advanced Clinicals. I've done this one before. I also have this one by Province Beauty. I got this one at TJ Maxx as well. Anything with hyaluronic acid, I go for. Um, because it's great for your skin. It helps with fine lines. Um, it gives you a nice, smooth um, texture to start out with with your makeup. I put this on every morning. Um, that's why I, I had to buy... I bought this one because I ran out of this one. And then I just bought this one again to put my kit to share the love. During Christmas time, I got one of those uh, Fasali, uh, Fasali um, 
gift set. It has the little bitty bottles in it. I had two other ones. It had the black one and the white one. Um, I have no idea where they went. I used them up. I guess I threw them away. These were my favorite out of them. Um, the unicorn skin and our unicorn essence and then the skin tomb blur. Um, I loved both of these. Um, the big ones are like $54. I know not everybody can afford that. That's why I did these because I wanted to test them before I paid that much for them. Which, I mean, they're nice. But I can get the same effect by getting stuff like this. And they're cheaper. Like this was $5.99 at TJ Maxx. So, um, it just depends on how much you're willing to spend. But these were good. Um, and it gave you a chance to test them out. I think for all four of those little bottles, it was $25, I think. I can't remember, but yeah. Um, another primer I went out, uh, I ran out of is the Poreless Face Primer by e.l.f. Um, this still showed no pores. Um, I'm still trying to find something that helps. Um, I did pick up this one from Milk. I'm going to try it more. So, but... I mean, it's good. It's affordable. I mean, it made your skin nice and smooth. It just have big pores like I do. You're still going to have pores show through with this. Um, two foundations that I went through: the Cushion Foundation by Wet n Wild. This is in Nude Beige. Um, Tati recommended this. I tried it. I'm not a cushion makeup girl. I like more coverage. This is a light coverage. If that's more what you're into, try it. If you've used Wet n Wild foundation, you know it smells. This doesn't have that smell to it. Um, it smells clean and fresh. Um, I just it's not something I would purchase again. And then the Fit Me Poreless Foundation by Maybelline. Um, you know my tried and true is the Stay Fit back there on the desk um I tried this because they did not have my color and stay super stay um this got the job done it's just not as full coverage as a super stay um it wasn't terrible but it wasn't my favorite so I've gone through quite a bit of concealer um an oldie but a goodie was the rewind um concealer. I think I actually have another tube over there that I went through. Um, from Maybelline. Um, these are just good drugstore foundations. They're full coverage. They get the job done. Um, they do crease less, I feel like, than like Tarte Shape Tape or the Camo Foundation, or Camo Concealer by e.l.f. Um, these are just, these are, if I'm in a pinch and I know I need concealer real quick. I know these work, so I buy these. Um, I also, um, I use the Jeffree Star concealer. I have the Color Corrector in Peach. I like this. I actually repurchased this because it works. Um, I have the dark circles. I feel like this helps a little bit, but a little goes a long way, so you can, it takes a while to go through it. And then, I got the concealer in C2. It was a tad bit too light. This is just as good as, um, what, or the Rewind, good God. Um, it's just as good um, for less amount. Like, this is $18, that's nine, I think. For setting powder, I went through the Loose Fit Me um, Translucent Powder. Um, this is really good. It works just as well as the Cody Aerospawn but it doesn't have the smell. Um, I just, I can never find the translucent in the loose powder lately, so I haven't been getting more of this, but I did enjoy this very much. And then I got the Jeffree Star setting powder in Rose. Um, this is good. The smell, though, it smells like, it smells like burnt uh, marshmallows, and it's like super sweet, and I don't know if this happens to y'all, but when you use setting powder, it does go up the nose. It does. There's just no way around it. Um, all those dust particles are just everywhere. And I would be smelling this all day. And scented 
makeup sometimes is just too much and this was too much um it was a great powder but the smell makes me not want to repurchase it again so eyebrows um i'm always on the lookout for any kind of brow product at all um so i think during my very first video i used this eyebrow pencil by Wet n Wild. I was like, meh. Well, I went back and used it again. Um, I think Laura Lee used it, maybe, or somebody used it. And it made me really like, okay, maybe I'll try it again. Um, I've actually gone through two now. Um, I really enjoy it. Um, I usually use it um, to make like the hair strokes at the end of my eyebrows or when I do that. It depends on the day. Um, I really need to get my eyebrows done. I've been trying not to bother them during COVID and with everything being shut, um, I trim them, but they need help. But I did enjoy these. Um, they were, um, they're super affordable and they get the job done. So, and their color selection, it's not great. Um, I, what color do I use? Are they both? Well, this one's dark brown. This one's medium brown. So I use both of them. With my hair, I can carry off a light or a dark, so it just depends on what you're wearing. And then, um, I couldn't find that one one day, and I couldn't find the um, NYX one I wanted. So, um, I heard this one was good, the one by e.l.f. It's the Instant Lift Brow Pencil, and oh my gosh, for, I think this is $2.99, $3.99, something like that. Um fantastic doesn't budge um, I wear this quite often now elf has been my go-to brow I'm either either using one of these pencils or I'm using the little eyebrow kit with the powder and the wax um, it's been getting the job done All right and last thing for um, eyebrows I know this is supposed to be clear mascara but I use it for my eyebrows it's great to brush them up and it holds them all day and it's cheaper than the clear brow gel, whatever you want to call it, that people cost out the earth for you to buy. This is cheaper. I have my Stila um, Diamond Dust. It's in the those liquid. Um, what are they called? Magnis Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow. Um, this is the first one I ever bought of that. Um, I have several other ones now, but this is my first, and I loved it. Um, these are fantastic to give your eyes a little extra shine. Um, glitz it up a little bit. Definitely be repurchasing these. And then I have the NYX liquid liner. This is in super skinny eye marker. Um, this is great, um, for, especially for the price. It didn't bleed like some of them do. Um, it lasted through work. It was great. I probably would repurchase this. Mascara, um, I like the Roller Lash. This is the Itty Bitty one. I like this for my bottom lashes. Um, the wand on it is perfect for my under eyes. Um, I mean, it's great for upper, but I like something with more volume. This will give you the length. It doesn't give you the volume for me anyway, um, but I have repurchased. And then my favorite mascara of all times, I don't know if y'all know this. Did I mention this? Anyway, I'm telling y'all now, um, the uh, Pure Fully Charged Mascara, my God, I love this. Um, I love this and I love the, um, what is it, the Thrive Mascara, it's my sister's favorite, she got me hooked on it. Um, it also gives you the volume, but with this brush, um, you don't hear about this mascara very much. Um, I think Jamie French mentioned it. Um, I've been wearing this for years. Um, I picked this up on a whim because I needed a new mascara and it was like years ago. Um, picked this up and haven't gone back since. Um, they had a special on these on Black Friday. I bought two of them just to make sure I didn't run out of mascara. Um, I love it. Um, I probably won't go back to anything else because I've tried them. I mean, I try. I really do. I do try. But I just, I can't, I can't give this one up. So, 
Um, I recommend this to anybody, especially if you've got long lashes. This is just going to accentuate them, but they're fantastic. Um, I'm wearing it today with my falsies. I should have done this at the beginning, but I've got um, Glam Glow's Glow Starter, the nude. Um, it's like a primer. Um, my God, this stuff smells amazing. Um, I got this in an Ipsy or my sister got an Ipsy. I can't remember. Um, but I tried it, loved it. Um, I want to repurchase it, but ugh, the price, the price of Glam Glow. I mean, man, my stickler, cause I don't want to spend that much, but, um, I mean, it's great, but I'm probably not going to repurchase it. Uh, and then setting sprays and, um, you clearly can see that I have a love for a certain one. I actually have another one up there that is almost empty. Um, that will, now I don't have to join it to this. Um, I love the cucumber, um, the smell. I mean, if you have a thing for smells, yes, Jeffree Star's. Mess, I, like, I couldn't use it. This one is highly like scented too, but the smell smells so fresh and delightful. I don't know if it's because I love cucumbers, but this, um, I don't care if the smell is whatever, is my favorite clearly. And I have another one up there. And I think I've thrown about three of these away. So those are my favorite. Um, and then I like the matte one too. Um, it's just as well, or just as well, just as good. Um, but I love the cucumber. I think it's, I think it's just the smell. I think that's why I like it. Um, it's also really good to spray on before I do my foundation as well. And then I have the Jeffree Star Morphe collab, um, Morphe setting spray. It's just the spray that it's like an aerosol spray. It's just fantastic. This one smelled like strawberries. It was heavily scented as well. Um, it was just a little too much for me. I used, I bought it because I got it on Black Friday and I wanted to hear, I wanted to know what all the hype was because I love the original Morphe. I love it. Um, the smell on it is even fine with me. This one, I think I didn't, I liked it less because of the smell because it was very sweet. Um, it didn't have that fresh smell that, that cucumber has. Um, so I did not like it because of the smell, but the spray, Morphe did it right on that spray. They did really good. Um, but I think, oh no, no, I found another one. Um, should have been on the first with primer. But no, the Wet n Wild Matte Primer, I liked this. Um, it had a good gripping. Um, I, t I didn't put it in my T-zone. I tried to do poreless concealers, but they never worked. Um, but I enjoyed this. Um, it's very affordable, especially if somebody is just starting out with makeup. I would highly recommend this one. I think that's all. Um, this little guy, he's empty. Are you empty? Let's reset your ear. Yes. Say, I need a haircut. Um, he's been enjoying mommy being home. Um, he really enjoyed those two months. Um, it kind of helped that I was here for two months. I was actually able to um, spend time with him and the kitties, uh, get them acclimated on the new home. Um, but he's settled in. Um, the only challenge that we have is we have to go up two flights of stairs and two, down two flights of stairs to go potty. That's fun. Numerous times a day. Fun. Um, but other than that, he's doing really good, aren't you, buddy? Yep. Um, I think he enjoys me sitting on the floor. He can snuggle. Um, that's it for my empties. I can finally throw those trash, those trash. I can finally throw that trash away. Now there's that empties video I've been promising you for some time. Um, I did get some new um, palettes in while I've been gone. Um, I would like to introduce some of those to you. Um, I got some new highlighter. I got some new primer. I got some new blush. I got some new lashes. I just need to do a video on all the new stuff I got. I got glitter. I'm excited. I just want to sit down and talk to y'all. Um, tell you how much I've missed you. Um, 
hopefully there won't be another well, how many months has it been April May June July August five months it won't be five months again no anyway um, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for actually watching me get rid of all this garbage that I've been hanging out with for a while. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.